Hey everyone, welcome back. Today is our April 2025 production update. We got lots of not news to talk about. As you can probably see, I'm in a new office. We have just expanded up to the on the upstairs part of our building. If you guys don't know, we originally had a 15,000 square foot space where we did the production and all our desk work and engineering and filming and washrooms. However, Mike wanted to put more production up on the, our office space downstairs so that we can push alt mills faster and get ready for our larger products like the 4x8 potentially coming out this summer. We talk with the landlord and we have acquired the upstairs space which adds another 6,000 square feet to our working area. Amongst the hustle and bustle of people picking office space. Um, nobody chose the conference room, so now the conference room is now my office and I have a couch and a projector. Also in the summer, we're gonna knock down a wall to take over some of the neighbor space. Um, our neighbors, they're taking over another neighbor space that's bigger. So we'll, we'll take over another probably 3,000-ish square feet of our downstairs, which will add a little bit more production space um, for the upcoming uh, products as well. You should expect a little bit of shuffling around over the next couple of months and um, things will look a little bit under construction, I would say, here. The other big news these days is the US-Canada tariffs. If you guys haven't seen my last article about the US and uh, Canada tariffs, talking about the USMCA, how that affects us, and so on and so forth, uh, the full article is on the blog, so you can check out this blog. Um, there should be a link in the description or in the comment. Um, and you can find the original. The recap of this basically, from early March, uh, Donald Trump has implemented the tariffs, but swung back and said, okay, anything that's under USMC will not be tariffed. A lot of our uh, pr products, uh, including the alt mill, the long mill, and all of our major accessories, Vortex, laser beam, and so on and so forth, because the majority of that is produced in Canada, uh, we're able to clear it under the USMCA trade agreement. Based on Donald Trump's current tariff status, because any products traveling to the US at this moment from Canada is exempt from tariff uh, if they're certified under USMCA, we're still able to ship machines tariff-free. However, the renegotiation and re um, Revisitation of that policy will be April 2nd, which is pretty soon. We have told customers that one, we'll try to our best to see if we can avoid tariffs for the customers. After March 3rd at 3 p.m., we have decided to implement that. Any new shipments, the if there are any tariffs that are in place that the customer will be paying for them, uh, well, on, only our, like our U.S. customers uh, maybe have to pay the tariff. If we are able to resolve the trade war between Canada and US prior to the machine shipping, then we can um, kind of go back to our original system, which uh, we would cover all duties and tariffs uh, prior to this. So we are waiting until April 2nd to understand what the situation and put out a new statement and that will determine what where we will stand for that. As of right now, if you're not sure if you're going to be affected by the tariffs, you can give us a message or a call. We can either, you can place your order now and we can get in touch with you before the order ships in the case that there may be tariffs uh, so that you can decide, okay, are, are, am I willing to pay the tariffs or am I willing to, do I want to cancel the order? Because the other situation right now is that the alt mill, which is something that a lot of people are ordering, our uh, our uh, wait time is um, where our wait list continues to get longer, and so the situation right now might be different than the situation next month or the month after. So if people are wanting to order, but they don't, they want to make sure that uh, they are not gonna miss out or like they're gonna have to wait longer. Um, they can place, people can place the order now and we can adjust things and uh, change the delivery date or the, um, whether it gets delivered or not based on what the tariff situation is. So yeah, just contact us if, if uh, you want to know what's going on. In other news, uh, G Center is getting a new look. So I think at some point you made up, may have provided some updates on what we're looking at for G Center. Uh, but because a lot of the libraries and a lot of the framework that G Center was built on 
prior is slowly becoming out of date. Um, the G-Sender team has uh, rebuilt G-Sender from the ground up to be faster, more reliable, and be a better platform for uh, improvements and updates. Right now, we are launching Edge versions, which is kind of like the beta versions uh, for people to test uh, before we launch the main version. And we've seen a lot of downloads for that so far and a lot of great feedback. If you'd like to check that out, check out the blog for this month because we have a video that basically covers all the details of that. Another small change is uh, we've continued to get a lot of uh, sales on the educational side, but it wasn't something that we were directly serving up in the past because uh, with the initiative that one of our uh, staff here, Charles, decided to implement, um, we've opened up more orders for the educational sector and we're creating a streamlined process for orders to come down that way. Uh, if you're interested in it as an educational in institution or a school, uh, we have a link to the page where you can request uh, support for that and um, you should also be able to find tax information that may be relevant for the purchase orders. Otherwise, if you're so inclined to type it out, it's www.cnc.com slash education. As of right now, we have quite a few machines in schools. A lot of the times uh, we'll have teachers or like educators buy the machine directly from our website. Um, not so much through the university or, or school channel, but now with this system set up, um, we can kind of do the more traditional purchase order method so that uh, schools can place the order and reconcile everything through the accounting departments of these institutions. Other big news, the Altmill has not been shipping this past month because we have cleared out of our Altmill Mark I stock and any machines going out from this time on will be Altmill Mark IIs, which means that if you had an Altmill Mark I ordered, you are automatically upgraded to an Altmill Mark II. The majority of the materials have already arrived for the Mark II and we're pre-assembling everything. And once we get our last parts, we will start shipping um, at the very start of April. The production team has let me know that their plan is to ship uh, 50 units per week, which means that over the next 10 weeks, we'll be able to clear that queue. And um, we're excited to get the new Altmill Mark IIs out. Um, we actually, they actually built one just outside my door, just to like kind of do a dry test run of a full assembly. The exciting part is that it takes a significantly less amount of time for it to be assembled. I think like half or a third the time of the original machine. And the team is currently working on the resources and we'll expect to have probably a video out for the Mark II soon. And uh, I guess now will be a much shorter video if it's a lot faster to assemble, right? We're excited to get alt mills back out the door again. This will be for batch four and batch five will be 750 machines, I believe, uh, which hopefully after we finish batch five, we'll have a much shorter lead time, unless people order more obviously then kind of still screwed. <laughs> uh, long mills, we had a short pause on long mill shipments because we were out of some of the SLB uh, case parts. Thankfully, we have received the new parts and long mills are being pre-packed and they will ship between one and three business days. If you're so inclined to order it right prior, to, we can try to, one, we've been able to ship all the long mills this month tariff-free, although we did have one that I think got, had a mistake in the way it handled. So we're dealing with that on the custom side, but otherwise we've been able to ship stuff without the tariffs as far as we're aware. Shipping time for long mill has been, uh, is down now, so you should be able to get it in a few days. The G Sender panel computer has been selling a lot better than I expected. We cleared out our first batch and our second batch already. Customers are now waiting for our third batch, which will be the 500 units. Once we receive them, which I believe will be at the end of this week, uh, we should have about 100 to 150 units left in stock. Um, so people who are going to place order once we finish that queue, uh, which probably will take about a week or two, we should be able to ship them out like within a couple days. However, we expect to run out of stock again in an, another month or so, which means 
we're also in the current stage of ordering the next batch of another 500 units. So after we get those 500 units again, probably March, April, like May or June, we should have stable supply and uh, lead time should be relatively short. Yeah, 500 more computers coming in, it's gonna be chaos. Another exciting piece of news, the Autospin T1 routers have we have received 35 of them for beta testing. Everyone who has signed up for a beta tester has received them. We're currently doing testing and some resource development for that. Johan and Daniel are in China right now. They're going to visit the factory that these are being made in so that uh, whatever kinks there are to do on the production side should be resolved. We have beta testers for Long Mills, Onefinity, Shapokos and some other CNC users. I believe we also will have them for V1 engineering and some of the handheld router stuff, I think, which means that uh, we will confirm universal support for auto spin on all platforms. And uh, yeah, I, I got to check out the new auto spin and it looks really cool. And um, the buttons are not yellow yet, so it looks not like Dalmatian right now, but uh, I saw Kelly testing them on the machine so far, and I'm really excited for these to be a new option as an alternative to the Makita. We've had quite a few new people start at the company. We have a new uh, marketing manager. We also have a new finance manager we'll start soon, new office admin. We got this like really nice ginormous coffee machine uh, to Fix co we call it, well, Sabrina, our office admin, calls it Coffee Gate because as our team grows and people drink more coffee, keeping up with the coffee demand has been kind of this like unusually difficult problem. So now we have this like robotic coffee machine, which is really exciting. Maybe we'll put a picture of that on our blog too. <sighs> so, what else is there? I'm sure I will think about it after. Uh, after we pack up and uh, that'll go on the next blog. But if you want to catch up on all the details, make sure to read our blog. Um, I post this every month and uh, anything that I miss in this video will be on there. So otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you next month.